Welcome to Production Expert, my name's Dan Cooper. In this video, I'm gonna show you the basic differences between two of the most popular pitch correction plugins on the market, those being Melodyne and Antares Auto-Tune. Now, both of these plugins are very powerful and intuitive to use, but there are some differences in how we can use them to tune our vocal tracks. All I'm gonna demonstrate in this video is really the first steps to tuning a vocal. We'll cover more in-depth tuning workflows in the future, but for now, let me show you how to quickly tidy up the pitch of a vocal track in Melodyne, and then I'll show you how you can do this in Auto-Tune. I'm just gonna use this small part of a guide vocal here just to demonstrate these workflows. Can hear the pitch does wander a little bit. So let's jump into Melodyne. Got this as my first instance on an audio track and we've got the pitch grid down the side here as you can see piano, white and black notes, all very simple and we need to get that vocal into this UI. Very simple, hit transfer at the top, put Pro Tools or IDAW into playback. And there we go, let's just zoom this in, right click, go to the zoom tool, and we click and drag, and you see up and down, get sort of a different scan of zoom. Right click again, brings up our toolbar, we've got pitch correction tool, I'm just gonna slide around here with my mouse wheel, if you can call it that on the magic mouse, and you'll see these blobs, these are in essence the waveform, but sort of broke up across the scale, and we can adjust the amplitude of each note if we wanted to, so, how loud certain notes are. I don't really play around with that too much if I'm honest. But I'm just gonna use the pitch tool and you can see these lines. All of those are basically just representing the pitch and you can see that she's a bit sharp here on this C, a bit flat on this E, not quite making the G here. And the gray bits behind basically represent where Melodyne believes the pitch should be. So you could highlight all of these and double click and it will snap the pitch into what Melodyne thinks is right. but it doesn't always work. As you can see, I know that's supposed to be a G, but Melodyne thinks it's an F sharp. So we need to move these notes about. And personally, I like to do tuning very gently. I hold the Alt key down on my keyboard and sort of drag about. Occasionally, I'll snap things in if I need to. Remember, I'm just showing you the basics here. Kindness revives every withering a heavenly smile. Let's get that last little bit. Highlight. Double click, they will snap in. The note sort of goes flat in the middle. We can easily pull this into line using the note separation tool. Just gonna to click either sides, that little bit that goes flat, and then I can snap that in. All very simple stuff. Now let's do this in Antares. Now the biggest difference between Autotune and Melodyne is that Autotune provides us with a couple of different ways that we can tune our tracks. Now this is the main window and it kind of does all of the tuning for you. So if you want a really quick tuning workflow, these controls really will get you sort of most of the way there. You set the key at the top, so for instance, so we're in C major. Let's just set that and hear what this can do out of the box. Kindness revives And that's done a fairly good job out of the box. For this vocal, I'd probably slow the uh, retune down a little bit, just so it sounds a little bit more natural. Kindness revives every withering a heavenly smile. That's much better if it's too quick. We're gonna get, you know, the classic auto-tune sound. Kindness revives every Which doesn't fit the style of this song at all. But we'll cover this window at a later date. Let's jump into the graph mode because this really is where Melodyne and Auto-Tune are comparable. Same sort of thing, we've got pitch scale down the side here, your black and white notes on the piano, and we need to get the vocal imported into this application. We can simply do this by just hitting pitch and hitting play. And there we go. Now. This is where things start to look a little bit different. Now we've got the waveform in the background like we would see in our DAW, and we've got the pitch line here in red. So that's where Auto-Tune is different to Melodyne. Remember, Melodyne breaks up the waveform and puts it in with the pitch. Let's just zoom this in again. So I can use the zoom tool, slightly different to Melodyne. We actually highlight an area, let go, and it should fit it to the window. We can also use the zoom tools at the bottom here. So let's have a little look at what we've got. Let's just scroll up and let's hit play. Every a 
Okay, you can hear where the pitch is wandering a little bit. Let's tidy this up a little bit. I'm just going to use this tool here to tell the software where the note should be. It's very simple. So instead of what we were doing in Melodyne where we were breaking up those waveform blobs and dragging them up and down, we can actually draw little lines in to point the software towards, say, that's the note. Can you make it more in tune there? So I'd say this here, sort of a little bit more towards the F, I want it more towards the E. Let's draw a little line. Much better. Say this a little bit more towards the D. Again up here, the G, ever so slightly flat. That C needs a little bit of help, like we did in Melodyne earlier. And that G as well, let's just bring that up. And there you have it. Those are the basic differences there between Melodyne and Antares Auto-Tune. As I said, in a future video, we'll do some more in-depth workflow videos with both of these products. But for now, if you haven't tried Auto-Tune, download the demo, have a go. It's very good. Same with Melodyne, very powerful. Which one's best? Well, no such thing as which one's better when it comes to these. Use the one that you're most comfortable with and the one that you feel you get the best results. Anyway, hope you guys got something from this. I'm Dan from Production Expert. I'll see you soon.